right, so this is going to be a video that is going to basically talk about how to get um, what Bacon Donut has been playing on Twitch, which is called Sky Crash Factory Landing. It's basically, in a sense, using the Sky Factory pack, making a crash landing-ish type world. Um, so if you don't already have Sky Factory, you would just use AT Launcher, you would get a new instance of the Sky Factory, go to your instances once it's done, and uh, once it's done, you would want to, uh, first thing you'd want to do is click play, just so that everything loads, all the configs load, everything is completely fine, it's working, and all that. You would close it out, open the AT Launcher back up, go to edit mods, and you would want to take this, uh, normally this would obviously be in here, in these mods, and um, you would just want to go and take it and disable it. Once that's disabled, from there, um, then you would actually want to go to open folder. And when you go to this, you want to go to the configs. You know, like I said, after you've already clicked play and it's loaded all the configs correctly and all that. Once you go into this, you want to go to Natura. And uh, if you hit, if you're in Notepad. Um, you can hit Control F, and that brings up Find What, and then you would want to type in Tainted, and it pops up Tainted Soil. You want to change that to 3001. This is what you want it to say is 3001. Once it says that, you would uh, save it, then you would close that, and then you would go up and you would find uh, Crowley Skyblock. Once you find this, you again Control F, search for Dust and you would change dust to 250. The reason why you're doing this is actually because whenever Bacon Donut was actually creating this pack he had actually changed dust to a different uh, ID because of the fact that Tainted Soil was already having the same ID as 250. Which is why whenever he was actually trying to create a world full of just nothing but dust it was actually crashing his game instantly as soon as he was trying to uh, generate the world it was just crashing because he changed the the item ID himself so it wasn't the actual ID of the item to begin with so once you have that you would you know save it uh, close that out you can close out the folder once you do that click play again so I'm gonna click play this takes a little bit so I'll be back alright so once you have the game fully open then you would want to go to single player obviously um, for purposes of doing this, I'm just going to call this um, Test World, sure. And um, you want to do Super Flat, make sure Structures is on. Uh, I always do a lot of cheats on just for if you ever run into an issue. I mean, if, when you're playing a mod pack, you never know what kind of issue you're honestly going to run into. So, me and myself, I always have that on. So, once you do this, um, you want to use the overworld preset. This is the preset the Bacon Donut uses to be able to create lava lakes and uh, you know small little lakes of water and you know underground dungeons, mine shafts, all that stuff, and of course villages. <clears throat> so once you have that, you would use this preset. Now the way I do it is remove the grass layer, remove the dirt layer, keep the stone layer. Uh, go back, uh, like once you would have this, go to presets, and then change the 59 here to 60. This is how many blocks are going to be stacked up from above the, uh, above the bedrock. So you can change this to whatever you feel like, you know, if you want it to be 120 or, you know, if you want to be like at sky level or something, you know, like 200 of them, probably going to be really laggy, just FYI. So then you would change this one. This one is the ID of the block. So if you ever wanted to, you know, mess around, maybe have some fun with something, you know, <laughs> I don't know, like change everything to like iron dust just for the hell of it, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, but w once you do that, you can change this to 250. The ID of dust is 250. Now, um, if that is what you're going for is dust, uh, whatever other block you may be going for, 
click use preset again and it'll pop up here if it shows dust or whatever other block you were trying to create then that worked then you're perfectly fine so then you would click done uh, and you would click done again and clear your world and this takes a little bit so I'll be back alright so as you can see I apparently spawned right next to lava one of these times I know someone's gonna spawn a world and they're gonna spawn like like right next to lava like literally right next to it or somehow like inside of it uh, but yeah uh, just you know as a uh, you know just to make you aware this is a little bit of a laggy of um, l laggy of doing this whenever you're creating your world especially if there's like giant craters that just you know go down pretty far like this one seems pretty calm it's just like a bunch of uh, bunch of water everywhere and um, yeah see it seems to be just a bunch of water so yeah that's how you would get the dust now another thing that I know some people always have questions about is how exactly do you activate magnet mode so in this you would uh, go to your inventory go to world set it to utility uh, and then put on the magnet now you I would say it is very good for having this on as soon as you create the world because um, when you're walking around and dust is randomly falling it could be falling into uh, it could be falling onto a uh, onto like rail uh, rails or underground falling on you know whatever it may be underground possibly even a torch whatever it may be um, you know it'll just come right to you and even randomly as well you'll just like end up with an extra torch in your inventory you automatically start with one so you know that is good for being able to get early on dust and whatnot but I also want to show another thing that you can actually do which is if I put myself in cheat mode right quick and get myself um, for instance you know, normally the main shell we're probably going to be using is probably, you know, a stone one at the beginning, but, you know, just for demonstration purposes, you know, I'll use a diamond one as well. But, um, for, if you want to be able to vein mine, um, vein mine this stuff, like, you know, if I hold shift and, oh, a little bit of lag, if I hit shift and do this, it doesn't vein mine. It, it, it just doesn't work. So, what you can do if you really want it to actually work for one um, make sure your vein miner mode is set to sneak just like this and that will do it whenever you're sneaking now as you can see it still doesn't work so if you do vein miner block list shovel add uh, 250 which is the ID number of dust do that and now whenever you hold shift it vein mines now if you want to see it being used in a more or less non-practical use or more or less a use of just someone that just wants to get a ridiculous amount of dust that's what vein miner can do so yeah obviously you know you probably wouldn't be getting to the point of just using uh, diamond shovels but you know uh, maybe, you know, you would want to waste some diamonds on this for whatever reason. But, you know, any other tools. Uh, if you ever needed to add a tool, though, you can also just do uh, vein miner, uh, tool list, shovel, add, and then the ID of the shovel, whatever it may be. You know, if it's like a four shovel, if it doesn't work with a four shovel, you know, the ID of a four shovel. You'd use that ID right here, whatever the ID might be, you'd use that. So, you know, like for instance, you know, like um, like this shovel. Like I don't know if, uh, okay, apparently it does work with that shovel. But, um, like for instance, let's see if it does work, because I don't think it works. Okay, yeah, it does work. Yep, and it's broken. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, it does seem that it is, uh, it is working rather, 
rather how it should be, which is good. So yeah. But yeah, as you can see though, um, I just wanted to kind of show off the vein miner though of doing this because I know people would probably have a little bit of a, uh, of a problem with that. So I wanted to kind of show that off as well. But yeah, I do hope this uh, is going to help some people out. I hope you uh, very much found this useful and I will see you in the next one.